Rosine Colourwood is a waterborne interior penetrating wood stain that is ideal for rejuvenating and enhancing timber, plywood, MDF and most flooring. Colourwood is typically overcoated with Rosine Aquaclear, Rosine Crystal Polyurethane or Rosine Clearfloor, although rough sawn interior timber such as beams can be left natural. Remove hardware such as handles, it's usually okay to leave hinges. Sand to remove surface imperfections and any residual coatings. As colour wood is transparent, any residual marks or blemishes on the surface will be apparent in the finished job. Use a dusting brush and possibly a vacuum cleaner to remove sanding dust before a final wipe with a tack cloth. Stir well and decant into a manageable sized container. Use a good quality brush, we recommend the PaintAids Legend brush. On warm days or if the substrate is very absorbent, add resine hot weather additive. Use lint-free cloth, for example an old cotton t-shirt to wipe the stain. Carefully plan the staining sequence. It is important to avoid letting the stain dry before wiping. Fill holes after staining with a coloured putty matched to the stain. In order to achieve a professional finish when staining interior timber, carefully sand to remove any surface imperfections, scratches and the like. Different grades of sandpaper may be needed depending on the severity and nature of the imperfections. Here, 220 grit zinc stearate sandpaper is being used. This is ideal for timber in good condition. Remember to always sand with the grain of the timber. Colour wood will not absorb through old clear finishes, wax films and surface contaminants, so care needs to be taken when refurbishing old timber to ensure they are completely removed. Note how the door has been propped to keep it above the drop sheet, allowing better access to the timber and reducing the risk of dust pickup. Once completed, dust the surface before wiping with a tack cloth. Note how much residual dust is removed. Shake the can thoroughly. We've added a small marble into the can to improve the mixing. After removing the lid, stir carefully to reincorporate any residual stain from the bottom of the can. Carefully decant a quarter to a half litre into a paint pot. Using your brush, wipe away excess stain and replace the lid. Work the brush into the stain. Here, a PaintAid 63mm Legend brush is being used. It's very important that colour wood is wiped before it dries, so planning the staining sequence is essential. Here, the small reveals are completed first before working around the rails of the door, using the joins of the frame as logical start and finish points. Note how the tip of the brush is used to apply the stain to the reveals. The Legend brush retains its shape more so than other brushes, making this possible with a comparatively large brush. Note how he's holding the brush and wearing cotton painter's gloves. Alternatively, a smaller cutting-in brush could be used for these or similar areas. The stain is applied liberally before laying off to ensure an even coverage is achieved.
Once the face of the door has been completed, the surface is wiped using a clean cloth to remove excess stain and ensure the stain is evenly applied to the timber. As a tip, have additional cloth ready to replace saturated cloth as you progress. This is very important for large areas, especially floors and sheets of plywood and MDF. The longer the stain is left on the surface, the deeper the colour will be. Although additional coats and or the use of colour would enhance will also deepen the stain's colour. Once completed, start on the centre panel of the door. Start from the top and work down, working quickly to get the stain on the surface, laying off with the brush as shown as you progress down the door. Once complete, wipe the door to remove the excess stain and to ensure an even coverage of the stain is achieved. It is sensible to start on internal facing or least visible sections first in order to get a feel for the application and wiping process. Once dry, apply Resine AquaClear or Resine Crystal Polyurethane. For deeper, more intense colour, an additional coat of resine colour wood can be applied using the same technique shown, or colour wood enhance, an additive for AquaClear can be used. Staining with resine colour wood is relatively straightforward and can rejuvenate and beautify timber. Achieving results like this can be very satisfying. Good luck.